be the one to witness the birth of the incredible Nintendo Entertainment System? The one to play with Rob, the extraordinary video robot, batteries not included. He helps you tackle even the toughest challenge. Will you be the first to raise the incredibly accurate Zapper and play games like Duck Hunt or action-packed Hogan's Alley and high-flying Kung Fu, each sold separately? Will you be the one to experience the Nintendo Entertainment System? Comes with Rob, Zapper, Control Deck, two controllers, Gyromite, and Duck Hunt. Will you be the one to witness the birth of the... Nintendo, a quick-loading cartridge system with over 60 of the hottest titles ever. Games like Batman, a life-and-death struggle to end the evil Joker's reign of terror and save Gotham City. Games like Super Mario Brothers, a battle to rescue the Mushroom Princess from the evil Cooper Turtles. Go for the joystick for extra control, or go to infrared for remote control. The hottest games are on Nintendo, the world's number one game system. What happens when legions of creative fans come across tools to modify the NES library? You're about to find out. I'm McGunn, and this is the Top 10 NES ROM Hacks. Number 10. Mario Fan...
しいカセット情報シングルスダブルスの本格テニスをコンピュータと技比べ5段階のランクが楽しめますピンボール迫力のフリッパースロットマシンのスリルポーカーゲームの興奮ビンゴの面白さの全てを結集したピンボールの決定版さらにゴルフ光線銃など面白カセットどんどん登場ファミリーコンピュータの楽しいカセット上。Nintendo Zapper, one of console games' first successful light guns, operates primarily under the principles of magic. Let's demonstrate. It's a common misconception that the light gun actually shoots something at the TV. No, it doesn't work like that. The truth is, it's the TV shooting at you. When the trigger is pulled, the control box sends a signal to the light sensor allowing the gun to pick up bright spots of light at the same time a signal is sent to the Nintendo. When the signal is received by the Nintendo, for a single frame, the screen goes black, and the target area glows a bright white. If the controller is directly aimed at the target, the lens spreads the light out to cover the sensor's field of view. If not, all the sensor can see is black. The information is then sent back to the Nintendo, where it processes it as either a hit or a miss, and then kills the corresponding evil bad guy in your screen, in this case, an innocent little duck.
Translated NES games. What am I talking about? I'm talking about NES games that never had an official release in English, but have since been translated by fans and made available online. A bit like fan subs for anime, but with video games. Typically, these games. Can you believe it? We're about to talk about NES games. The arcade games first. Yeah. <laughs> but they're the games that were on the NES. The Versus Systems arcades by Nintendo uh, introduced in 1984, a year before the NES was introduced in the North American market. It was Nintendo's way of bringing Nintendo games to the market before they had an opportunity to play it at home. They had about 30 games released, including a lot of the original black box games. The Nintendo Versus system was more or less upconverted games from the home console into the arcade. Hey, we've got these games over here. Maybe, maybe you'll play, maybe you'll like these games. Maybe a year from now, you'll see these games on something else we have planned. It's like a drug um, pressure at an elementary school. Kind of, but, but you still paid for the first hit in quarters. There were some things that were a little bit different. For example, Super Mario Brothers in the arcade was a lot harder than it was at home. Also, Duck Hunt versus, you could shoot the dog. You could finally shoot the dog in the bonus round. Best day in video game history. Not all versus, but a number of the versus cabinet cabinets were versus, like in the sense, you versus a buddy. They had a whole bunch of different setups. You had ones that were like two connected cabinets together to play two player games with your own screen. I like seeing the red units sit down, like. So the red tents. The red, yeah. yeah. They're so cool. Yeah. By the time the NES hit the year later, and when I actually purchased the NES and brought it home, it felt like literally bringing the arcade experience home to me, which is sweet. This is part of those building blocks into making the NES the juggernaut it was. Nintendo, you're kind of just putting, you're putting your toe in the water, testing it out, testing out the market but to you're, see, you're trying to see if people want these games maybe in the future for something coming out. Just toe in the water. <laughs> 